Hello Troy Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome to day 3 of the Expert Mode playthrough. Now I must admit I'm not on top form today, I'm feeling a little bit ill, so I'm still going to do a pretty awesome episode, hopefully. Here's the plan for today, I'm going to lay it out to you guys, because I don't think I got to explain it properly yesterday. One, I finally got that strange plan. Two, I'm going to do basically some exploring. I'm going to get some life crystals and I'm going to do that a little bit in my own free time. What we're waiting for is a meteorite to come so we can actually harvest it and we can get a full meteorite set. This is how I defeated the Eater of Worlds in, um, well, the first time I did it in expert mode. And it's a really good strategy. And obviously combined with all the potions that we're going to have now and all that good stuff that we've picked up from fishing, we should have a very successful fight. So if all things go well, we may have a boss fight today. We may not. It all depends on what spawns. Ooh, Mirage die. Let's see. That's cool. That's really cool, wow. Oh, that's so weird, it makes it look dead wobbly. I mean, like, oh, that looks really awesome, I'm keeping this one. Yeah, that one's cool, alright, so we're keeping this die then, that's awesome. Right, so, I'm going to get started and get some life crystals. The moment a meteorite spawns, we're going to go get it, and we'll put this plan into motion. So, let's begin today's episode. Oh, I also picked up this thing, because I believe somebody left me a comment yesterday saying I'd missed it, so that's really nice of you, thank you, sir. The audience's keen eye are honestly what make these series great, so it's really nice. I think I saw one down there as well, I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'm, um, well, I'm probably going to die soon. Okay, so I found a little structure in the mushroom biome, and I thought I'd bring you guys along because I like opening chests for you, and I've just realized, has this one not got a chest? Is it one of them ones? Ah, they're the disappointing ones. However, I did find a life crystal over here, which is nice. Oh, we're going to take out these crawdads. Somebody asked me in the comment section down below, are these new? Yeah, they're 1.3. Um, oh, they gave me a death mirror. It's like a bat did yesterday. Yeah, they're 1.3, they're new. Um, and they drop yo-yos sometimes. In my yo-yo uh, playthrough, I actually um, had to farm these and giant shellies for a really long time because they drop one of the... Uh, they're kind of like mid-tier yo-yos, like not one of the best ones at all, but, you know, it's still a yo-yo, so I had, to, I had to get it. But yeah, no, they're not bad enemies at all, they're actually uh, pretty reasonable. But what I'm doing now is I'm almost at the bottom of the world. I always forget that these tents are a thing. I wonder if you can actually grab them. I can't remember if you can or not. Actually, as that fills with lava, um, I've got a nice little area to grab it. So let's see, I think it just destroys, yeah. Kind of a shame that. It'd be cool to actually have like a little tent thing. I don't know what its purpose would be, but it would be cool. Hey, so a really great thing that I actually managed to do is finally mine, or finally find some armored cave fish, which is what we're going to use for, um, it's what we're going to use for the fight with the Eater of Worlds. I also got a rock fish, which is nice because it's just a hammer. So I'm still waiting for a meteorite to spawn every day. We have a little bit more chance to get one. So until then, what I'll probably be doing is I'll probably just be like cruising around the world, just finding little stuff. Nothing really special just for the minute. It's just kind of all maintenance at the minute because what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get prepared for a good fight. Now that's not the right chest. That's the right chest. That one. Okay, cool. So I'll keep you guys posted, but like I say, until we actually get that meteorite, there's not much to be done. Alright, so this is actually a more interesting turn of events. A goblin army is approaching from the east, which means we have a goblin invasion. This is going to be good because we get spiked balls. We'll obviously maybe get a goblin tinkerer, which is kind of equally cool. But until then, I don't know how well we'll actually manage to do this fight. So what I may do is I may speed some of it up, but I won't film all of it just because the goblin invasions last about 24 minutes and that's a little bit too much of sped up footage. Alright, so let me time lapse the first half of this and then we'll see what actually happens. Who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy's the uh, traveling merchant, I imagine. Alright, okay, time lapse begin. Oh god, we let Walter get slain. I said he must never die. He's the first to go. NPC-wise, that's not good. Right, well, as you can tell, I'm camping up here because... Oh, Daniel's gone. <laughs> no one left to save us now, is there? Tordak and Daniel. I wonder if we get a better named NPCs next time. Rest in peace, Walter, though. That's not nice.
Well, we died. I guess the time lapse is over. Okay, so the goblin invasion was pretty hard. I got it kind of done. I don't know, I died a few times, like maybe twice, three times. Um, but I got a gold bunny and then I rebuilt the house. So I want to show you... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I want to show you guys the new house. Are you ready? Bam. Alright, this is the new house because it's not great at all. Like, I still don't have enough materials to really build anything nice. Um, but a lot of people were getting really annoyed because my house before in this world looked a little garbage and it did this one isn't too much better the purple is just for lighting effect at night because i think that terraria videos on youtube at night when they have colored torches look really really nice so i did that i still don't have a meteorite so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go fishing in the ocean for a little while just to pass some time um i do have an angler now so i may do a quest as well and i'm literally just trying to pass time until i get that meteorite Oh, I do have a new NPC, by the way, and it's Kala the Nurse, which is good. And it seems that all the NPCs want to fall down here. So what is the daily quest, anyway? It's a dynamite fish. Caught in the surface. Not bad, because we have a surface one. Now, I wanted to check the recipe for something. Right, not for that. There's uh, a G... Yeah, it's always... Oh, so you need a gold watch, because we, we have a compass. We have a depth meter. And if we had a gold watch or a platinum watch, we can actually make a GPS, and that would be even easier than having all of these accessories on our inventory. So, while I'm um, going for the dynamite fish, I actually found a frog leg, which is good because, and I'm gonna show you why it's good for us, because one, let's go hand in this quest. Two, we got two wooden crates. What's that, climbing claws and some platinum? Eh. Right, okay, let's hand this in. Bam, we got a ship's wheel. Oh, that's just like a little bit of a placement, right? Auto jump, right? I never really appreciated this until now, right? We can auto jump and farm at the exact same time now. So I may use this to farm a little bit more on this. And I'll let you know if I get anything cool like the slime staff. Because that's what I'm obviously looking for. Okay, so something that's not great at all. I've just got the notification. You feel an evil presence watching you. That is not good. It means basically that we're going to get a fight soon against the Eye Gafulu. And we are not ready at all. But I do have some potions. Uh, a swiftness would be nice, but I don't have one. Right. Hmm. A graph potion could work. But other than that, I don't feel like we're uh, strong enough for this fight at all. So, yeah, that's not good. Uh, what running area do I have? I guess this could be my running area. Let me just check. Because I don't have boots or anything. i tell you what I do have. I do have... Are they just normal spike shoes? Yeah, I do have this frog jump, which should allow me to dodge a little bit better. But if I do have a fight, I'll have to do it here and try and avoid it and use this as some kind of like an archery weapon. I'll let you guys know if anything spawns, um, but until then I'm going to stop recording. Okay, yeah, it spawned, right? So... Okay. Alright, this is a fairly, a fairly like normal Aikafulu fight in terms of expert mode. It's not actually... Um, like, Aikafulu is harder, but it's not, like, devastatingly harder. But we're, what, I'm at, what I'm with right now, my lack of, like, proper armor and such, this is not, like, turning out to be a great fight, or it probably won't do. All right, I should probably flip around now. All right, I'm, I'm not doing too bad. I may speed this up, though, because it's obviously going to take quite a lot of time, so I'll probably speed this up and let you guys see what happens. Oh, we're into its second phase and I'm trapped. That's really stupid. Okay, let's run away.
Okay, done. Awesome. That was um That was a really chilling fight. I don't think I'd actually do it. Um I like when we have a random fight and it actually goes well, it makes me feel good. So let me just turn off auto balls. I had this on just in case I needed to record. Right, treasure bag. Open it up, first one, right? Episode three. We've got some corrupt seed, we've got some demonite ore, and an arcane shield of Cthulhu. Plus twenty mana. Awesome. Right, so that'll probably go here. We'll probably replace this whenever I need it. Bam bam. People people use this literally into their late hard mode. I don't want to kill this guy because I want to capture it because that's ten gold. But that was not a bad fight at all. That was um once again it was like it was just interesting. Like it's good when a fight turns out like that because you know then you've done something well, right. Okay, let's see. Can the angler actually Yeah, he can live there. Okay, good. Alright, shop. I'm gonna sell you some golden squirrels. Uh nice. Enjoy your golden squirrels, sir. And then we're going to continue onwards. I may smelt down this demonite, see what I can get from it. I'm not too sure. I do already have an ancient helmet, which means that crafting the full set would be nice. However, what I may do with it is I may craft... Alright, okay, so here's, here's the thing. I can craft... I think I know what I'm going to do. I can craft the Malassi, which is a yo-yo, but the Amazon is better. Or I can craft a Fisher of Souls. Right, now hear me out on this. The Fisher of Souls will be used to fish for a Reaver Shark. The Reaver Shark will get me Hellstone. Okay? That's my uh, that's my logic with this one. The Reaver Shark's going to get me to places even faster. So, don't hate me for that. Trust me, it will all pay off in the future. That was a, a really interesting fight. I did not expect to do that. So, well, we're pretty happy about that. Cool. Well, I'm going to go fish because that's what I've got to do now. And, uh, yeah, let me know down below. What did you guys think of that fight? Do you think it was good? Alright, so this is going to be my little home for a while. I'm going to be here trying to catch a reaver shark. Hopefully I can. Um, I have got a pretty good pole, but I don't have any of the angler armor. Which kind of sucks. I don't have the line breaker or anything like that. So hopefully I can get something good. I'm really hoping that I can get that and let this plan all set into motion. Okay, it's finally done, right? It did take me like, I don't know, like 20 minutes to find this thing, but it's totally worth it. Got the Reaver Shark, right? Look at this, like... Okay, so... Pickaxe power, 35%. Pickaxe power, 100%. Stupidly easy way to cheat the system. Right, now, I want to speed this up because I don't want to make today's episode too long and yesterday I had to cut loads out. I didn't feel good about that, so... I'm going to speed up my mining very, very fastly. Like, I'm going to skip over it, but I'll show you what I do. And then that'll be the end of the episode because we can't wait around for a meteorite anymore. Okay, so like I said really fast, the first part of this step is mining obsidian. So we just got to kind of clear out all of this lava. Okay, so now comes the fun part. Basically dive into all the lava, use an obsidian potion and just go crazy. Right, grab as much hellstone as you possibly can. You have four minutes per potion. This is the way to win expert mode. Okay, so I'm back at the house now. Let's put down my new furnace because I made sure to grab one before you leave. Good little tip there. And let's see, I don't have too much obsidian so this won't actually make too much, I imagine. Eh, 93. Um, so. Let's see. Right, I'm gonna need... I don't need that for hard mode because I've already got uh, a thingy. And we'll take one of these. Right, so we've got an Imp Stamp, a Molten Fury, a new sexy pickaxe. Right, uh, all of this, um, all of this armor, uh, which is which is just super awesome. Let's see what else. Is there anything else I can craft? Ah, if I didn't craft the thing, I could have got a sword. But there you go. There is the most easiest way to kind of cheat the system a little bit. And uh, get some really cool stuff. So, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I just want to check one crafting recipe just before I go. Um, about, it's about arrows, basically. There's one arrow set that's really, really awesome. And I can't remember how you craft it. Right, let's go down here. There we go. Right, crafting. Can you help us out, buddy? Oh, diamond drill. Uh, no. Ah, oh, there you go. Hellfire arrows. Crafted it in anvil. So... Let's go back to the house. Right, let's get the arrows that we put in the chest a while ago. Because I had a ton. Um, and then let's craft them all into Hellfire. Bam, bam. There we go. Right. That is how you boss hard mode. 
right? Tomorrow I'm going to do a big, big boss fight, which is going to be cool. And uh, you guys can let me...